take a look at this, drag racing fans. No, we are not at the super moto races. We are at the drag races. You are looking at what very well could be the wave of the future. Chip, tell me about your new creation. This thing's awesome. Well, my daughter Mackenzie said that uh, she wanted to try drag racing, so we had this old KTM laying around, and I thought, you know what? This would be a, something pretty cool to do. Um, something that, I mean, people have done it in the past, but maybe not to this extent with the swing arm and stuff, so, uh... Walk me through the bike a little bit here. I see we got one of Kobe Adams' swing arm. Yeah, naturally, uh, when I get ready to do something, I go to my good friend Kobe Adams, and, uh, this bike was built at his shop. We built it in the evenings in a couple of weeks, and, uh, it's a 2008 KTM 450 as a, uh, air shift, air shift bike. Um, you know, I tried to set it up for her so that, uh, you know, it'd be... It'd be something that she could learn on. I don't ever know if she ever wants to race pro stock or not, but uh, I wanted her to start out and learn the basics. So this is a good bike to do that with because it's light, it's nimble, um, and it makes good horsepower. I mean, she's already ran 86 miles an hour in the eighth of a mile, and uh, we know there's still more in it. We just got to keep working on it a little bit. It's brand new. So what do you think? I heard you, you did a great job first time out. You got those good racing jeans, right? Yeah. 15 years old, right, Mackenzie? Yes. Okay, so tell me what it's like going down the track on this thing. Um, it's a little nerve-wracking. Uh, taking off is kind of rough, but just need more seat time. Very be good. good. Very, very cool. You got aspirations to be like Dad, maybe? Uh, someday, hopefully. <laughs> very cool, very cool. But Chip, I, I mean this in all sincerity. I think you should get this trademark because I think it's such an awesome setup for a beginner. I think it's uh, bikes that are readily available that aren't overly expensive. I think I think this could really catch on and maybe even be an eighth mile class. Well, that's why we did it, um, just for the expense of it. You know, um, I could have went out and got her a six six hundred, you know, spent five or six thousand bucks. But in my eyes, with a guy with a small budget, I wanted to keep my budget, you know, for this build around a thousand to fifteen hundred dollars, and we were able to do that. For me because I was able to do the work myself um, with the help of Kobe Adams and uh, it's really cool man um, we've had it on display here at the four wides and a lot of people have come by and they seem really interested in it and, uh, I, I just think it's awesome um, I wrote it I went uh, I went 715 at 91 miles an hour on the rev limiter so uh, it has the potential to run in the sixes we just uh, like I said, we've had, we've had it out twice, and uh, we're having a lot of fun with it. And I'm just I'm happy to see Mackenzie have it. Oh, fun. definitely. Well, and I was laughing because I remember you from being the baby that Chip was holding in that winter circle picture on Steve Rice's funny bike. We're getting old, Mackenzie. I know. Future's yours now. Well, I can't wait to see you rip down the track, guys. Thanks for showing us. Thank you.